what associations do you have with you on this picture? I don't know, but for example, murder. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually in Ariosk, uh, my hometown. Um, the northernmost city in Russia, one of the northernmost cities in the world, uh, with 170 citizenship citizens. Uh, this is one of the biggest uh, northern cities. No roads or trains lead there, and internet is limited. I, um, sorry. Um, my parents, uh, in a search of their life, moved there um, when I was six years old, and. I have lived there for 13 years and fully experienced all the challenges um, people undergo living in Erosk. Life in Erosk is somewhat interesting but quite hard to get used to, which is results in anxiety, depression, and nervousness for many residents. Um, in today's speech, um, I'm gonna tell you about all the challenges people undergo in Erosk. First, I'm going to tell you about geography of the city, and um, first up a short history introduction. I'm going to tell you about geography of the city, uh, polar day and polar night challenges, and uh, then my second point is going to be um, about pollution in the Erosk. And finally, I'll give you one reason why you should visit Nerdles at least once in your life. So let's start. Nerdles started its life in 1935 as metallurgically potential region. Uh, due to hard climate in there, government decided to send prisoners to start building the city. Uh, 500,000 prisoners were sent to Nerdles during this period. Uh, due to Stalinism, which was in those time in country, a lot of people were prisoners. You could go to prison for any reason. So most of these prisoners were not like serious criminals. They were just usual people. Um, so 500,000 prisoners were sent there and about 18,000 died in there. Uh, after Stalinism, the the reason why all the prisoners were sent there was cancelled. Uh, a lot of prisoners decided to stay in the rules because government offered a lot of benefits living in such such harsh conditions, such as uh, increased wage, uh, early retirement, and etc. And these benefits preserved till today. <coughs> now it's located above the Arctic Circle. Um, it's only about 200,000 miles to actual North Pole. Um, nearest normal city to the Ariels is about 1,000 miles away, right here. And around the city is just tundra. No roads lead out of there, uh, only airplane or uh, cruise ship in the summer. Um, Locals call the rest of the world mainland because of the Nariel's isolation. Um, and this is, as I said, one of the coldest cities in the world with year round the temperature uh, 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as you can see, the screen shows minus 54 Celsius, or it's minus 65 in Fahrenheit. And uh, this is like <coughs> the harsh temperature in the winter. It's one of the coldest winters. Uh, it is also one of the windiest cities. Uh, the wind speed sometimes reaches 80 miles per hour. Uh, we call it black, spot, black storm because the wind mixing with uh, snow and you cannot see anything in the radius of like 10 feet. Um, oh yeah, and as you can see the numbers on the buildings, really big, uh, this is made on purpose so people can actually see the number of the house during bad weather. 
in such days. Uh, Uh, students don't go to school because uh, we have official permission to don't attend school. It calls Aksharovka. So this African guy asking, what is Aksharovka? Because obviously he never heard about it. And yeah, sometimes there's a lot of snow. Location of the Arctic Circle means presence of polar day in the summer and polar night in the winter. There's two months of the full darkness being accomplished through depression and fatigue due to failure of the body uh, to produce melatonin. According to the uh, Henderson, um, melatonin is the Melatonin is the uh, basically producing in your body uh, during night, during the day and suppressed during the night. So when your body spends a lot of time in the darkness, it's always being suppressed, <coughs> and due to that, you're being tired, depressed, and etc. The same thing in summer. Sun never goes down, and in this way, your body always trying to produce melatonin. And due to that, you being hyperactive, sometimes you lose in the sense of time, and you know, you sometimes have sleep problems. All these uh, conditions affect the life expectancy in the country, you know, in the city. It's 10, less, 10 years less than in other regions of Russia, and in Russia it's already low, so the uh, life expectancy is about six years old in this. In addition to that harsh climate, pollution makes such conditions even worse. I was surrounded by mining plants. The city had very three mining plants, which is located in a such way where it doesn't matter what and what direction the wind is blowing, it's always into the city. More than 4 million tons of different chemicals are released into the air, air every year. Um, however, Nariel's nickel is world leader in nickel production and brings about 2% of Russian GDP, but well, it's probably one of the reasons why it is still operating. Pollution has a strong influence on um, Life, uh, on the health. Life expectancy, as I said, 10 years <coughs> less in other regions of the country. Uh, risk of cancer is two times higher. Uh, there is obvious connection between health problems and pollution. The most permanent diseases among kids is uh, ear diseases, throat, and respiratory tract. Uh, we personally had surgery on my nose because I always had sinus always had problems with my nose probably. This is one of the reasons. Um, bad pollution affects surrounding area as well. Heavy metal pollution is so intense that uh, soil can be mined itself for uh, platinum and palladium. Um, if you're lucky to be in the summer in the Nariels, uh, during one of the warm days, you probably don't want to sleep because you're risking to get some skin burn. Um, due to pollution, nothing survives near 2 or 20, 30 miles around the city. Or it's not good. Um, I'll tell you to tell you some benefits. Of uh, um, if you live in the Rilsk, you have increased wage compared to other regions of Russia. However, the prices on the grocery is two times higher as well, so it doesn't really help. Early retirement, but 
you're probably going to be sick. <laughs> Uh, proud memories and stories for your friends. That's probably the best. Um, and probably the main reason, and I think it's really worth it.